Welcome back, everyone of the Miami Dolphins franchise here on Madden NFL 19. We have the off-season recap. If you missed the stream or you forgot what happened, we're going to be going over everything that went on, plus a little bit more. Starting with retirements, Drew Brees and Tom Brady are among the big names who ended up retiring. The only Dolphin to retire was Frank Gore. So starting with the re-sign phase, Sam Hankey's first move as general manager was to bring back Cameron Wake. Three-year, $23 million deal. Considering Cameron Wake's big regression, that probably was not a great move by Hinky. Willie Hayes was offered a one-year deal for about six mil, which he ended up rejecting, but the Dolphins were able to still bring him back in free agency. So here's the free agency class. It's not too special, but the Dolphins' offers, as I said, they brought back Willie Hayes, but the big offer was Quan Alexander. He is headed to Miami on a four-year contract worth about 30-ish million dollars. He will be the middle linebacker and Raquan McMillan will be moved to the outside. So looking at signings around the league, Ryan Chazier is a Redskin. Tyrod Taylor is a Kansas City Chief. I guess Patrick Mahomes wasn't doing too well. As here we are for 2019 NFL Draft, the Dolphins have the second overall pick. As with the first pick, the Seahawks took wide receiver A.J. Brown from Ole Miss. The Dolphins tried to trade down one pick with the Bengals to pick three, but it wasn't able to happen. Both teams were close, but were unable to agree. So the Dolphins ended up drafting this fella right here, Ed Oliver, a big defensive tackle from Houston, 83 overall superstar development. He's going to be a big anchor for this Dolphins defense for a long time to come. So uh, here's a quick look at the schedule if you're curious, opening up against the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Uh, the NFC division the Dolphins will be playing this year is the NFC East, and then they'll be finishing it off against Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. Back to the draft, the Dolphins agreed to get the 14th overall pick from the Texans, which sent Kenny Stills a third and a fifth away. I tried to, I think that's a somewhat realistic trade. And then they ended up drafting Jonah Williams, the offensive tackle from Alabama, 78 overall superstar development. I think that's a good win-win trade for both teams, and as I said, it is realistic. Now in the second round, everyone wanted the Dolphins to draft Bryce Love, but instead they traded down with the Oakland Raiders to get a 3, a 4, and a 3. Uh, one of the third rounders as well as the fourth rounders this year, and then one of the third rounders was a draft pick in the year of 2020. The Dolphins had another pick later in the second round, which was from the Robert Quinn trade, and Bryce Love was still on the board, and they had to do it. So Bryce Love is now in the Miami Dolphins' 80 overall star development, and with that, the Finns ended up trading Kenyon Drake to the Indianapolis Colts. I may undo that trade just because I don't think it's super realistic. The Dolphins are immediately just going to trade Drake. Uh, I'll, I'll think about that one. You guys tell me what you think. Now let's go third round. The Finns selected Damon Arnett, a projected first round corner. He slipped in the draft, and he looks like an absolute monster. 78 overall superstar development. I was expecting him to be like a 74 or 75 with normal development. So this is a crazy pick for the Miami Dolphins. Later on in the third round, they would select offensive tackle Prince Tega Wanahogo Jr. from Auburn, 76 with star. I promise you guys, I did not know most of these developments. I think the only ones I knew were Ed Oliver and the next player I'm going to draft, which you'll see in, in a minute. But other than that, I didn't really know most of these. So I'm just getting a lot of luck when it comes to these crazy picks. As Albert Wilson was traded to the Bills for a third round pick. And with that draft pick, the Dolphins ended up picking Anthony Johnson, the wide receiver from Buffalo. Now in the fourth round, they picked Sherman Cole. He will likely be a starter. In the fifth round, it was Hogan Buffett from Missouri State. He's going to be used as depth at linebacker. In the sixth round, Rodriguez Keith out of F FAU, Florida Atlantic. He will be competing for a starting position along with Corday Tankersley and Xavier Howard. And in the seventh round, who else but Malik Bostic for Westlake Hornet. So here's one last look at the draft class real quick. Starting with the big fella, Ed Oliver. Number two overall, phenomenal pick right there by the Miami Dolphins. He fits the scheme at run stopper, and he's overall such a talented player. He was really good for the Houston Cougars this season, and an excellent pick by the Miami Dolphins. With the 14th pick, they took Jonah Williams. When I was making the trade to trade up and draft Jonah, I was expecting him to be like 78 with quick. So I'm surprised he had superstar 
Bryce Love, I did know his ratings and development. Damon Arnett, I did not know his ratings or development. Anthony Johnson, I know I knew his rating and development, but other than that, I didn't know most of these, so I just got really lucky with getting three superstars and three stars, which is absolutely insane, as a lot of these guys are going to be day one starters. I think just Buffett, Bostic, and maybe Rodriguez Keith won't start, and other than that, everyone will start, which is pretty crazy for a rookie class, so free agency for the Dolphins was decent. But the rookie class was excellent. Now looking at undrafted free agents, what you want in a quarterback is you want someone smart. So they signed John Smart, and you also want someone you can trust. So Jim Trusty will also be at that quarterback spot. Philip Dorsett, a former first rounder of Miami, he was signed to a contract. He was very good in this preseason game, which you'll see later in the video. Ricky Seals Jones was signed. Also at tight end, Graham Lair was signed. At left tackle, Arion Steffen signed a contract. And at defensive end, Loomer Poole, who is quick development. And the last signing was cornerback Addison Ramsey. Let's get some week one preseason action on Sunday Night Football as the new look Miami Dolphins head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. First play from scrimmage. As Eli Manning is no longer on the team, Kyle Loletta and Robert Griffin III are fighting for the starting quarterback spot. But Saquon Barkley, welcome back to the NFL, young fella. As the Dolphins' defense on the first play of the game, letting Saquon Barkley take it 71 yards home. And the Giants will take a 7-0 lead. Ryan Tannehill back, as of course he got injured back in Week 4. Tannehill played this whole game. As a precision decision for Devontae Parker, the Louisville product. Now third down and one. Tannehill has time. He would look and he would find his rookie wideout, Anthony Johnson from Buffalo. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling to about the sixish yard line. Now it's third down and goal at the seven is Ryan Tannehill. He would be sacked as that's going to be Olivier Vernon stuffing him up like Thanksgiving turkey. Dolphins kick to field goal. Giants have it at the two-yard line here on third down and goal. As Loletta will hand it off for Saquon Barkley, but he'd be wrapped up behind the backfield, and the Giants will kick a field goal. Now it is 10-3. Late in the first quarter, Tannehill scrambling like he's late on a date. He would find the second-year man, Mike Gusecki, out of Penn State. Let's go second quarter. Second down and six is Tannehill. Has time, he would find his man, Anthony Johnson, to about the five-yard line. Solid performance from Johnson. Fourth down and goal, the Dolphins are going to go for it. It's Philip Dorsett, who had an excellent game. Three touchdowns on the day for Dorsett with the Gronk spike. Now it's tied up at 10. Third down and one is the former rookie of the year, Robert Griffin the third one handed off for Wayne Gallman, and he'd be stuffed as the Dolphins read the play like a book. Giants kicked a field goal, two-minute warning as Ryan Tannehill scrambling like eggs in a frying pan. He looked deep down the field, and he would find Jakeem Grant. Beautiful play right there, third down and goal at the eight. Tannehill with a tough pass for Dorsett, and the former Miami Hurricane and Indianapolis Colt with the touchdown. Now it's 17-13. First play of the second half, Ryan Tannehill. He would be brought down as Darian Thompson with the sack. Second down and 18, it'd be a little deja vu as Tannehill sacked again, this time by Kareem Martin. Third down and 24, back at the 11, Ryan Tannehill heaving up a nuke like Kim Jong-un, and it will be intercepted by Duke Dawson, who was actually on the Dolphins for a little bit during the beginning of last season. Third down and 5, Robert Griffin the third, the former number 2 overall pick from Baylor, he'd be brought down by Kiko Alonso, who had, I believe, seven sacks last year. Second down and seven at the 23 is Ryan Tannehill, a former first-rounder out of Texas A&M. He would find his man. Beautiful pass right there from Mr. Tannehill. He played excellent in this one as Tannehill. He would move like Jagger, and he would find Ricky Seals-Jones. Dolphins now up 20-13. Third down and 15 is Mr. Tannehill. He has all the time in the world heaving it up, and he would find Philip Dorsett coming down with a beautiful catch. Now the Dolphins have it at the four-yard line as Tannehill scrambling. 
he would find Dorsett for the touchdown, and the Dolphins would extend their lead to 27-13. Second down and nine for Mr. Tannehill as Ryan Tannehill scrambling. He would heave it up, and he would get it. Beautiful pass and an even better catch as the Giants would end up blocking the field goal. Greg Valleg, not too happy with that one. Robert Griffin the third, tough pass, but it is caught. Griffin the third had a solid but not great day. The Jets or the Giants now have it up at 46. My bad. As Griffin doesn't know what to do with it, he's gonna move around. He's gonna heave it up, and he would be intercepted by the safety Trey Elston. Beautiful interception right there. Elston got an extension last year after making plays like that, even though Elston didn't really make too many big plays last year. First down at the 20, as it will be another interception for the Dolphins, this time by Xavier Howard. That's how this game would end, as the Fins would kick another field goal. Bobby girl, in the Bobby world, Bobby girl, hey, hey, man! 